Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the YoLink uh, app along with the YoLink product line, uh, a couple of their items. We've got the YoLink hub and this will pair with their long range sensors. Today I'm excited to uh, get these sensors because I do have Z-Wave sensors around the house and sometimes they work, you know, sometimes they don't and I got them connected through the SmartThings hub. I'm trying to migrate everything off that smart things hub and get everything into uh, connected through zip zip B directly into my Amazons or we're going to use this yo link hub for long distance and uh, really more accurate sensing uh, for our cases around the house for doors and entryways and stuff like that so we're going to go ahead and take a look at these these say they're long range they advertise up to a quarter mile distance from the hub which i like that even if i'm in a couple rooms next door here uh, i know it's going to have that accuracy with that uh, range and on their box it says long range connectivity up to 1000 feet away from the hub in open air that's almost a quarter mile real-time monitoring so once this senses motion, here's the motion sensor, or once the uh, door uh, contact sensors uh, either are closed or open, it should be real time and instantly uh, detect it and then go into your Alexa, uh, say if you wanna set routines or something like that, which I have tons of routines. I highly suggest using routines around your house for your voice device that makes your house a whole lot smarter and takes it way into the future. Uh, let's see, it's got alerts remind you when the door is open for a set time, you can do that. And it's also got a battery level, monitor the current battery level and send low battery notifications to you. So these won't ever run out of batteries without you uh, not knowing about it. It's got its own YoLink app control and it's supported uh, right now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hook this up just with Wi-Fi to our router. If you want, you can direct connect it with the landline. It comes with the landline included. You can connect that directly to your router for more dependability, but uh, I believe the Wi-Fi works great if you just wanna do it that way. That way you can kind of locate the central in your house. If your router is not in the optimal uh, location, you can set this anywhere. And we're gonna go ahead and hook one of these door sensor, contact sensors up to my mailbox so that we know every day when we have mail. Stick around guys, we'll see how easy this is to set up. All right, so let's see if we can get this YoLink hub paired along with a motion sensor. I assume the door and window sensors will be the same type of programming setup as the motion sensor that we got here today. And I did get the YoLink uh, because of its long range capability. I'm gonna actually probably put a door sensor on the mailbox outside of my house, out on the street. So it's gonna be quite a distance away. I did have one there before uh, for about two to three years. It worked just fine. It was a Z-Wave but it got knocked off, I think, by the landscaper. And uh, I lost the, the lid of it, so we're gonna go ahead and try these long range. And the Z-Wave, I did have some days where it didn't pick up uh, when the mailbox uh, opened. So with this YoLink uh, sensor being long range, up to a thousand feet, or they say almost a quarter mile range, uh, I shouldn't have any problems with these. That's what I'm hoping, at least. So let's go ahead and go open the YoLink app. I've already downloaded it onto my smartphone here. We'll go ahead and open it up. Add a device now. I'm, I'm going to press Add Device. I'm going to allow YoLink. I'm going to scan the QR code. That was quick. Name, uh, I'm going to keep it YoLink Hub. And room, I'm going to set it in the, well, it says not set. I guess I can't assign it right now. That's fine. Uh, bind device. Okay, I'm going to press that bind device button. Device bound. Uh, YoLink hub has been bound. Close. 
you have successfully added this product. This device is offline. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tap that and allow while using this app and enter my Wi-Fi password. Continue. Press set button for five seconds. Okay, first I'm going to plug it in. Go ahead and plug in our YoLink hub. I don't mind having another hub besides my Alexa device if this is going to work. Uh, long range especially. I don't mind investing in these. The sensors are anywhere from I think 12 to $19 depending on uh, the door or the motion sensor. And I've had some in the past that were kind of flaky and they sometimes they work, sometimes they didn't. So I'm hoping these work all the time. Please press set button for five seconds to enter linking mode, okay? Hold the set button on the five back seconds, unit it says. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll see green and blue uh, LEDs flashing. And go ahead and confirm, continue on the app. And it should connect to our YoLink hub with uh, our Wi-Fi to our router. I'm looking forward to having a, a long range sensors all around the house so that even if it's in another room or a couple rooms over, that strength I know uh, is going to be there and make it more dependable for me. Okay, connected successfully. We'll hit the done button on the app. And there's our YoLink cup. Let's go ahead and add this uh, door sensor. This is what I'm gonna use on the mailbox, I believe. Now, if the signal is strong enough, I bet you could use a motion sensor just put it inside in the back of your mailbox now I've got a like a iron mailbox housing so I don't know if it will go through that uh, housing either way I'm gonna try I think I'm gonna do this one the door just in case I have to mount it on the outside okay. they say they aren't weatherproof but it looks pretty sealed enough for me in the last z-wave one, one I had on my mailbox before it broke off that wasn't weatherproof at all so I would try this one again as well on the outside, but I'm gonna try it first on the inside just so that we can test it out and see if it will work from inside of your mailbox at that distance. So we'll go ahead and add something here, another device. Hit that scan QR code, and it's right on the front of your uh, sensor right here. On the motion sensors, it's on the back. So we'll go ahead and scan this one. And it picked it up as a door sensor. We're going to name it Mailbox Contact Sensor. And save that. Room not set. I think I have to go and set up my rooms. I'll do that later. So we've got that. We'll bind device. We'll press that button on our app. Device bound. Okay, close. And then uh, you have successfully added this product. Okay, this device is offline. Press the set button once if the device is battery supplied. Now it is, uh, it comes with the batteries included. I believe I feel them in there. So it says press the set button right here. There's a button on the front. It will join the, press set button once if the device is battery supplied. Let's see, yep. The LED light did flash on, so it does have batteries in it. It will join the internet automatically in 20 seconds. Okay. I pressed it once, so we'll see. And we'll do done on the app. Okay. There it is. It's already working on the app. If you watch when I connect this. Now it's closed. Now it's open. It's working pretty fast too. The response time is great. Now let's go test it out on our mailbox. See how the range works. Okay, we've got our contact sensor linked up to our hub. 
we didn't connect our motion sensor, but that should be very uh, basic and simple, just like this one. You scan the QR code on the back of any sensors that you want to add to your app uh, to this hub from the app. So we are connected with this door contact sensor, and now I want to make sure that we want to make sure that it's uh, found by Alexa. So let's go ahead by our uh, Amazon. So let's go ahead and click that and go into our Amazon smart voice device and hit our plus button at the top there and add a device. And then we're going, actually, you know what, I'm gonna install the, see if it's got a skill, yo link skill. And we'll type in yo link. Search YoLink. It does have a skill, so you'll need that first into your Alexa. Enable to use. Press that button. And uh, you'll grant access to it. Yes, I confirm. Log into YoLink. And then here you're going to enter your information. So we'll enter our login to our YoLink and hit the login button, enable it. Okay, and then close, hit the close button on the app here on the Alexa app and then it should ask you, yeah, to discover devices. So we'll press that. We'll see if it picks up the sensor here now. Remember we named it uh, mailbox contact sensor. So give it 45 seconds and see if our Alexa device can pick it up. One contact sensor found, great. Set up device, add your contact sensor to a group. Okay, choose group. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it, anything out front, outside, I, I join it to the garage so I can find it easy and then add to group. Mailbox contact sensor added to garage, continue. Ready to set up and use, done. All right, guys, we're going to go on outside here to the mailbox. See, here's the distance, right? Here's the uh, house. My office in, is in the middle of the house back there. So come out there, and this is the distance we're going to be walking to the mailbox. So you can kind of get an idea. I turn around here. The mailbox is outside the gate, right out there in the street. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go out there. Hoping the long range factor really works good on this, in this case scenario. I'd like to maybe put a uh, contact sensor on the gate as well. Let me know when it's been open for long duration or something like that. Okay, I'm going to turn you around here. Let's see. There we go. There's our mailbox. We've got Christmas lights still up on it. Let's see? So we're going to go ahead. I had the other contact sensor. I don't know if you can see the markings, the base right here, and then the uh, magnet right there on there. Like I said, it stayed on there good for about three years. And it's a big, heavy metal mailbox. I could try to put a motion sensor in the back, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to hold the uh, sensor back in here and see if. Uh, and look at the app and see if we get motion. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open the app up. <clears throat> Yo Link app. I'm looking at the contact sensor there now. It says closed here. Well, hell, it's not even picking up right here the outside. Oh, there it goes. Opened. Still says opened. Thought this was supposed to, oh, now it says closed. Open. Closed. Still says closed. Opened. Closed. So there is a lag. And let me try it inside here, see if it's gonna work. Now I got it, yep, opened, closed. I 
got it open, but it doesn't state it yet. Hmm. Opened. Closed. Opened. Closed. Opened. It's not saying closed yet. So there is some sort of a lag there with it inside the mailbox for sure. Now I got it outside. Still says it's opened. Closed. Yeah, I think I'm gonna mount this right here again on the outside. I'll the surface is really clean. I'll go ahead and use the 3M sticky tape on this right here. First I'm going to see how this should mount. tightest down here so I don't want the mailman to like slap this and knock this off. So I'm gonna put it right here, right where the door closes. Oh that's pretty sticky too guys. Oops, really sticky. contact as I do that. Okay, we'll line that up. Right there. So there we got it guys. We got our contact sensor mounted. And if he slams the mailbox, not going to affect that. All right, let's get it set up on Alexa with a routine now and we'll test it out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make a routine for our mailbox contact sensor. to the uh, Amazon app and I'm gonna go to the bottom right corner I'm gonna go to the bottom right corner where it says more and then hit routines press that and we're gonna hit the plus button at the top right corner to add a routine enter routine name we're gonna say uh, we're just gonna call it mailbox sensor routine okay done next at the top right corner when this happens okay when this happens we're gonna say when a smart home device happens so we're gonna press smart home right here and then we're gonna go down to uh, mailbox sensor or contact sensor right there, press that. And we're gonna say when it opens. When it opens, next at the top right, press that, add action. We're gonna say, uh, we're gonna choose, um, where is that? Alexa says, or no, we want messaging at the bottom. We're going to go to messaging, press that, and we're going to say send an announcement. So press that option there, and our announcement's going to say you've 
got mail. Okay, and then hit next in the top right. And we'll have it say it on, you can check all devices if you want it just echoing around the house. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the back porch. Oh, it's just, oh, you can do several. Okay, on the back porch one I want it to do, uh, in my dad's room, in case he's here during the day and we're not, uh, we'll do it on my dad's show and our kitchen counter and maybe okay. we'll do it also on the uh, Echo Plus. Okay, I'm and then hit sure what? Went wrong. Sorry about that. We'll hit the next at the top right. Alexa will announce you've got mail on back porch and on all those other devices. Okay, so next to confirm and then we'll do save. And then we'll go try it out now, see if it works. All right guys, I'm gonna have you focused right on this Echo Plus device here and you listen out for me. I'm gonna go out there and open them and close the mailbox. See if we get that you've got mail message. I'll be right back. You've got mail. You've got mail. Guys, it worked, didn't it? If it worked, let me know in the comments below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. And guys, I thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos. And I will see you on the next one.